worried pandas shake and hide their faces during storms? All right, server, you know what to do. Make it storm. Oh, <laughs> no way. Look, they're even shaking. You can see them. They're kind of doing this. Oh, no. Wait, do they do it if I build? What if I build them a little house? This panda is fully covered and still hiding his face. Hey, it's okay. It's just, it's just weather. It's not going to be okay. Can you clutch with a lava bucket? This one came from our beautiful Fire Nation Discord, which you can join, link in the description. Add ham 2.0, not Adam, add ham. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work, but let's get it. Three, right. two, one, go. If you don't manage to make it, it's gonna be sad. And yeet. I made it. <laughs> we all know that you can clutch with one person on the camel, but can you do it with two or more? The famous Sorry. line from Shrek, one of you may die, but it's a sacrifice Sorry. I'm willing to make. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna just shift off, okay? No jump. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh no, I dropped that. first. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh no, you got a camel clutch. Go. Oh my gosh. No, I'm, Come on, I'm camel. This. I'm, this. I'm in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming. You can clutch with two, but I don't think you can clutch with three. <laughs> Can camels jump over 10 blocks with two people riding them? Joe, Hello. come over here. We're gonna start with a nice little five block jump. And easy. Oh, easy. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, 10 blocks. Okay. Oh. Can, can make come on, camel. Yes! yes! We're pushing, we're pushing the max here, buddy. Good. Yes! Oh! And yes! Oh. 12 freaking blocks. No way can you clear 13, though. I mean, this has got to be pixel perfect lining up to the edge. Three, two, one. No! 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 He cannot jump 13 blocks. I hope this is true, but sniffers can't be hit in the head because of their hitboxes. Come on, sniffer. No way. No way. Look at this. You can't hit him in the head. <laughs> Still not hitting in the head. Still not. Still not. Oh, close. What? That is crazy. Naming a vindicator Johnny causes it to attack nearby mobs. You know, from like the horror movies. Like, here's Johnny. All right, Johnny. Take it easy. Hey, yo. <laughs> He's going nuts. Oh my gosh. Why? He's killing all the passive mobs for no reason. This is a regular vindicator. Not named Johnny. And this is a vindicator that has the name tag Johnny. Why? What? I genuinely didn't think it would work. So foxes can pick up items in Minecraft, but if you give them a fire aspect sword, will they make cooked chicken? Oh, you know what? Actually, I got an idea. Here we go. Take the sword. Okay. Now I have to take the sword. And now server, turn the grass to hoppers. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Kill the chickens. Yes. Okay. So the reason why you want to put the hoppers beneath is because otherwise he'll pick up feathers in his mouth or the cooked chicken. But check it out. Somewhere in here. Yeah, we got cooked chicken, baby. But now, turn back to grass. Let's see, look, if we spawn two chickens, he'll kill one of them, but then he'll drop the sword for the cooked chicken. That's why you need to put the hoppers beneath him. But it does work, confirmed. So if you have bees on one side of your crops and flowers, will they grow faster due to pollination? Come on, pollinate. Use the flower pollen and make those veggies grow. Oh, oh, I think they just fed this plant something. They are definitely helping it grow. Look at this. Look at them. Look at them. They're filling this up with honey. They're taking the honey and the pollen. I mean, it's still a little slow, but dadgummit, it works. Now, I got so many more farming tips. Like, genuinely, put beehive nests next to your crops. Thank you later. Can we force the sniffers to grow into adults by feeding them the torch flower seeds? We know this works on camels with cactuses, but we don't know if it works with the baby sniffers. Homie, just grow! Come on! I've gone through almost two stacks of seeds! Yes! You can do it, but it requires the amount of seeds it would take to feed an entire army. We got Bad Omen because we want to see if pillagers will attack baby villagers. I hope this works for your sakes because this village has a lot of babies in it. Oh, here they come. I'm going in creative mode. Oh, so far, no babies? They're not even looking for the babies. They're going for the adults. There we go. Oh, oh, the Vindicators are coming in now. Look at them, look at them. They're just letting the babies run wild. They don't even care. Dang. I think I've got more respect for pillagers now, considering they'll leave the babies alone, but this is confirmed. Unlike other mobs, camels and sniffers cannot ride in boats. Uh, I need you to go to the boat. Sir, please try to get in the boat. 
Oh no, he, he did not like the boat. Uh, oh, he's on it. He's oh, he, oh, he, okay. I, I think the snipper is not compatible with the boat. But what about my boy, the camel? Get inside of here. Come here. What about a baby camel? Baby camel? Come on, baby camel. Hey, baby camel! Oh, oh but the, the adults can't ride though. Wow, I can't believe it. That is so sad. Okay, give me a baby sniffer. All right, baby sniffer. You're leaving your parents behind. Yes! Dude, the baby sniffer is so big. He's glitching into me. <laughs> now you can be sniffed while you drive. Can you break in crystals with eggs? If you can, this is a speedrunning classic. This came from one of our other Fire Nation Discord members. Uh, their name is Scooby Doo Go Crazy. I want to know the lore behind that name, but after I test this. Yes! Dude, why are we wasting bow and arrows when we could just do this? This is excellent! Now I got a question. Wait, snowball, snowball, snowballs. Snowballs? What? Guys, what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> Stop using bow and arrows to break these end crystals. Do bees die in one minute after stinging a player? That's technically what happens in real life. Look, there's the stinger. All right, look, it's for your own good. I have now been stung. Oh, <gasps> and the stinger is gone. Now we must follow this bee. Come on, come on. Oh, the bee looks so sad. Come on, bee. Don't do it. I don't know why I've never thought to test this before. Because this definitely makes sense. But so far, our bee is fine. He doesn't look unhealthy at all. No! There's a way of damaging endermen with water without them teleporting. Can I get to figure this out? Okay, like, if I just put water beneath them, they teleport. They do not like water. They're like cats. What if I put you in a hole? All right, get in the hole and... No. Ooh, lingering bottle of water. Splash bottle. Oh, it's got to be one of these. You're not going to like this. Lingering. We're going to do the splash bottle first. Uh, no. Oh, no, they teleport with the splash. What about the lingering? Dang it. Is it a cauldron? What? You can take a bath? No, I don't think it's possible. Let's see it, baby. Do camels drop leather when they die? Camels, I don't think you would drop leather because you're made out of fur, but I need to know. Thanos snap them. I freaking knew it, man. I mean, think about it. Camels are all fur, so it stop killing camels unnecessarily. Sniffers change color depending on what biome they're spawned in. Starting with the desert. No, you look very normal to me, but that's only the first biome. What about the jungle? No, you're letting me down, Sniffers. Come on. One of these biomes has got to change how you guys look. No, not even the plains? Okay, but last but not least, swamp. Ah, come on. No! Sniffers are all created the same. Fishing rods can light TNT on fire? You just have to throw it through lava? No! Can a natural end portal spawn with 12 eyes of ender already inside of it? Yes, but these are the chances. So most likely it will never happen to you unless you're drinking. So if you pick up a totem of undying, as you die, you survive. So we're gonna throw the totem of undying down. All right, we gotta wait. We get the, the totem's gotta go all the way down. Then we jump. No shot, this works. This is mind blowing. Okay, you can jump two blocks without any effects. You just have to use damage and timing. It's kind of weird, but I swear this is possible. <gasps> I don't know, you guys will have to rate this one in the comments if it's rare or not. I would say this one is like medium rare, but not that rare. If you crouch as soon as you hit the ground, you take no fall damage. I'm calling BS on this one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. No shots. Wouldn't this, okay, if this actually worked, I feel like this would be used so much. Oh, I'm gonna try to get this one. We're gonna be here for hours. Oh, I'm done. No, I'm done. That one's fake. I mean, we just probably died a hundred different times there and it didn't work. You can make text on signs glow. Because they released the glow squid, thanks dream. I also voted for the glow squid. Uh, but that's beside the point. There was a time when Minecraft was gonna add a couple of different mobs and the glow squid won and he drops a glow ink sack. So what you do, you can literally write whatever you want. I'm obviously not gonna write anything that's self-promotional. Anyways, now all you have to do is once you have the text that you like, you just right click it with the glowing sack and boom, it looks so much better. And you even get an advancement, glow and behold. Water will stop skulk veins from spreading. Anything you kill next to the skulk does this. You even get an advancement saying it spreads. But the myth is that you can use water to stop it. So I'm gonna place water all around these skulk veins. Will it contain the skulk vein spread? Oh my god. 
It doesn't contain the spread? What are we gonna do? What do we do? There's an infection and it's going to destroy everything. Do not come out! Alays can't take damage if they're holding something. All right, and I'm assuming it's gonna die. <laughs> wow, big shocker. All right, we're gonna, now we're gonna give this one a diamond and then see if it takes any damage. Oh, okay, don't move. Stay right there. You need to take damage. What? All right, now I've given this one TNT just to double check. All right, now you can't move. No, no, no. Stop flying and flopping, dude. All right, there's no way you're surviving that. This one's gotta be dead. You gotta be kidding me. So it doesn't even matter what item they're holding. They can just survive anything. Very rare, but it's not beating the totem of a nine for me. So if a cat spawns inside a witch hut, it will always be a black cat. All right, so as you see, we have the hut. All right, I'm gonna make a nice slight incision from the top over here. So as you can see... Wait, that's on the roof. We're not even in, so... Oh, that's so weird. No. No, even baby black cats. So the witch's hut is so powerful that it even works in a one block radius around it. But as soon as you go two blocks away, you're getting all sorts of different cats. And it has to be the hut. So if we take the witch, and we're gonna put the witch in this tree, it spawns regular cats around the witch, no black cats. We're gonna kill the witch inside the hut, and then we're gonna spawn the cats. Are they still black cats? They're still black? You can summon any structure in Minecraft using a command. And the command is slash place structure. Whoa, whoa! Wait, wait, you can place a taiga village. Let's see. How does it know where to place it? I think it just uses you as like a center point. There's even villagers. What? And the chests are full as well. To really test this, we gotta play something different. Beached shipwreck. Oh, wow, that's so it does. I mean, it's a little glitchy because it doesn't really know exactly where to place it. Oh my, just placed a mansion. This is pretty good. And the best thing about this is it's not just the structure. It's everything that would also be inside of the structure. Even the chests have everything inside of them. Pretty rare, but still not rare enough to defeat our totem of undying myth. You can run underwater only on mud. So here we have dirt. When we try to run, here's what happens. <laughs> we just start swimming. But now we have mud. Now here's the interesting thing. This worked in a previous version and here's us doing it, but will it work? in the newest version 1.19.2. Oh, uh, this is a big moment right now. <gasps> no, they fixed it! Mojang can't keep getting away with this. He can't keep getting away with it! Thanks, Mojang. There's a myth that you can make an infinite source of lava. This is gonna be my helper today to test and see if the lava is real or not. So here's the resources that you need to try this myth. You need a cauldron to collect the lava. And then on top of it, you just need blocks. All right, dripstone goes beneath. And then all you have to do is build something that can hold the lava and bam, lava goes down in the center and it should throw. Oh, we have our first little drip. You can even hear the drip sound effects. So if it takes away from this, it's not truly infinite because it's just taking it from one place and putting it into another. I would say though, if this works, it is way more rare than the Totem of Undying. So obviously it takes a while and I'm going to beg you all to like this video every time you see the dripstone drip because that would make my video look extra drippy. Funny joke. This is a controversial one because there is legend that there is a red Enderman and the way to get him to come out of the nether, you make the corners of your nether portal with nether rack. I'm calling straight cap on this one. But then what you do inside of the overworld is you set your day to night and then you get a campfire of each color Put them in front, and then you wait. He sets a butt. Got you. If you got scared, you have to subscribe. The myth is that you can turn mud into water. Not as impressive as Jesus turning water into wine, but still impressive nonetheless. We are going to put mud right here. Oh, actually, we want to put this one a little bit higher. I'm gonna, whoa, what the heck is that? I'm gonna build over here. So obviously the mud has water in it, but if you put the dripstone beneath it, it's supposed to drip all of the water out of the mud and turn it into a regular clay block. Kind of like if you put a sponge into a furnace. Look. Bloop. Ancient debris is just condensed warped logs left from Minecraft since 2011. I mean, when you think about them, okay, we're gonna look at these side by side. They do look very similar because of the fact ancient debris has this spiral top. It looks almost identical to the warped stem. Almost, not quite, but doesn't it like, oh, I don't know, man. Now that I'm looking at these side by side, I feel like this could be true. This is more of a conspiracy theory myth. You have to help me decide in the comments. I, I can't decide for myself, okay? We still don't have any lava yet, but our lava up here has not dissipated. That's a good sign. Oh, oh, whoa, did you see that though? There was like six drops that came out of the dripstone all simultaneously. We got nothing else better to do. Might as well eat some lunch. Epic. <sighs> Amazing. I felt bad for a second, but I realized this burrito has chicken in it. It does not have beef. So cow, you're fine. Ow. 
Any day now, that'd be fantastic. Oh, oh, it happened. No way. Dude, I literally have so, look at the sauce on my hands. I, can, I can't even use my mouse hand. Hold on. I'm doing this with one hand. Now, the big question is, did it take the lava source block? That's what I want to know. Oh, <laughs> no way. So you can genuinely get an infinite lava source these days. We still have to wait for this mud block to turn into clay. Oh, we suck, dude. Okay, we technically did this myth incorrectly. I feel really dumb right now. So you technically need a stone buffering for whatever reason. It buffer, I don't know how this works, but apparently the only way to test this myth correctly is to do it this way. Mud, stone, dripstone. This is a spicy myth. The myth is that villagers are just ravagers that have been scientifically mutated and have had tests ran on them. Because if you look at the face of a villager, it isn't that far off from the ravager. I mean, look at these guys side by side. I don't know, and then if you spawn a pillager, like, look at this. They don't have the same eyebrows. Look at that. They don't have a unibrow. That unibrow is what unifies the fact that ravagers are villagers. I'm actually convinced about this one without cap that later in Minecraft, they're gonna reveal that ravagers are villagers. If you mine every single obsidian pillar in the end, you get a secret achievement. And here we go. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Oh, you gotta get the bottoms too. Oh my, oh wow, what? I didn't realize that these have like the roots of the pillars go this deep. This is just gonna make it that much longer for me to break every single one of them. One, two, three, four, and uh, five, six, and this is the last one, okay? Oh my God, how deep is it? Why is it so deep? Joe, come help me break it manually. We're gonna, I'm, I'm calling in backup. This myth cannot be busted alone. I'm going. I gotta be careful just not to break the last block. Cause here it is, the last block, three. Two, one. <laughs> that's fine, that's perfect, you get it? <laughs> when a village has a well inside of it, there's a one in a million chance that there's a button on it and it opens a secret room underneath the well. Um, I'll tell you this, I've been playing Minecraft for way too long and I've never seen a button on anywhere in the well. It just doesn't exist. Has this always been here? I'm gonna click it. I'm pretty sure this is just a planted button because I didn't hear anything trigger when I activated it, but I'll swim to the bottom of the well. What is that? What is it? What's in here? There's a lectern here? Villager's manual. Do not ever give a good deal. Don't speak in front of humans. Only, huh? Emeralds is life, understandably. Make sure to subscribe or we will steal all your emeralds. I promise you I didn't do this. This was the production team. Okay, if you're angry with me right now, you should get mad at them. Frogs can eat slimes. I've really never ran into a lot of frogs in Minecraft. They're kind of gross looking, but apparently they'll eat the slime. No. Why would, why would you eat the slime? I mean, okay, so if they'll eat a slime, will they eat a magma cube? There's no shot. Oh, there's also a myth too that frogs can poop out lights. Is that a light? Wait, did he just eat the magma cube and give me a light source? A pearlescent? Okay, I gotta make sure this isn't fake. Did that really just happen? Where are you go? Frog, don't leave. Oh, look at him walk out. He just poops out a light and thinks that this guy owns the entire world, huh? So does he do it with any other hostile mobs? All right, here's a skeleton. What do you think? No interest, huh? I still don't think it can beat the infinite lava source. Tadpoles will grow into different colored frogs depending on which biome they grow up in. Snow, desert, warm. Wither skeletons can spawn with any item in their hand, including a bow. I've genuinely never seen a wither skeleton without anything except for a stone sword, but there is a very tiny chance that they can spawn with a bow or other types of weapons in their hand. That is false, but in previous versions of Minecraft, you could push a skeleton through a nether portal and it would turn into a wither with a bow. But you can still spawn them with a command block and they are terrifying. If I go into game mode survival, I'm way less scared. Uh, you look at this guy, he's a flame bow. I, I, terrifying. And the newest version of my cats can survive max fall damage. The height limit in the newest version of Minecraft is 319 blocks. I am going to spawn the cats right here and I'm going to push it off. Cats are always supposed to land on all four legs and not supposed to die. I'm going to follow this cats. Oh God, where did it go? Wow. Now I know why there's so many furries at conventions. The jungle villagers are hiding the Krabby Patty formula inside of their temples. Don't try to run away from me. I know you've got the formula only. See, sometimes you try to make things peaceful and they just don't want it to be that way. There it is. Do you know how important this is to me? We even made an entire video on our real life channel with over 10 million views, trying to figure out what's inside of the secret formula for a Krabby Patty. There it is. The temple with the secret formula. Get out of my way, villagers. Lights on. Ah, 
much better. Okay, come on, really? This is all you have protecting the secret formula? Oh, I'm gonna read you so good. What is that? Is that TNT? There's a secret biome in Minecraft, the upside down from Stranger Things. And this is it. Now it might look normal, but look at the particle effects that are surrounding this place. And most of these village houses are upside down. Once you enter the village, look at the purple. Even the water's upside down. Oh, this is weird. Ooh, I don't like the sounds. I don't like the sounds. Okay, get me out of here. You can breed frogs with slime balls, which would make sense because technically they eat slimes. No. You guys are literally slime balls. Look, I can't see what's beneath the frogs, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know which one's which. Oh! Are those the tadpoles? Don't walk on the eggs! You're gonna break. The warden is just a mutated iron golem who was fed a notch apple trying to heal him. They definitely have similar body shape, and the warden doesn't even have any more eyes. What do you think? Is this lore cap? or fact. There is a secret trapdoor underneath Snow Village Igloos. You know, I mean, this place is pretty small and I don't see anything inside of here unless... Wait a second. No. Surely not. Surely this... No! Okay, I'm opening it. Three, two... Alays will bring their items to the note block instead of you if the note block is activated for 10 or more seconds. Uh, as you can see, the LA just betrayed my trust entirely and brought his items to the note block instead of me. If you eat 37 carrots in one minute, you gain permanent night vision. You know, I could see this working. They do say that carrots are very, very good for your health. Why would you get permanent night vision for eating 37 carrots? I feel like this would already have been shown at some point in time that Ermojang would have patched it. But I'll eat the 37 carrots, okay? I know you guys want to see it. That's right, I'm, I mean, I'm smunching. We're almost through. Noob wants a new home. Go buy them at firemerch.com. I'm eating these carrots. Gosh! And busted. What did I tell you? Nothing happened. I've been dying to bust this myth because you can save yourself from drowning by sleeping in a bed. Oh no, I'm drowning. Oh, but I have a bed? Boom! Oxygen! How sick is that? And then you just swim away. Like nothing ever happened. I hate to say this, that's gonna take off the infinite lava source for me. The fact that a bed can save your life from drowning, that's number one now, okay? That is the rarest myth that's been true so far today. If you shoot your bow and arrow beneath a cauldron filled with lava, it will turn your normal arrows into fire arrows. Meaning, if there are mobs on the other side, you can actually set them on fire. So like, there, you see his toes, okay? Don't put this on weaky feet, don't be weird. Oh, that's so cool! Wait, why does it work by going underneath? That doesn't make any sense. That's so weird. I mean, I don't know a bunch of like circumstances where this would be actually useful, but it does work. Rain will melt snowmen, basically killing them. Joe, do the rain dance. I know you Britons know how to do it. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're seeing some movements. I'm still waiting for the rain, Joe. Oh my. Joe, stop the rain dance. Stop the rain dance. <laughs> What have we done? What have we done? You did this! You're complicit in the murder of six snowmen! You can make an overpowered wither skeleton farm with charged creepers. As we all know, if a mob dies to a charged creeper, their head always drops. So, with this we spawn in the withers, and with this we spawn in the supercharged creeper, and then when it explodes, <laughs> and you're too close, you die. But, if we teleport back, look at what we're left with. Oh! Look at 24 heads. With this, you can farm withers all day, every day. You can mine reinforced deep slate if your pickaxe has efficiency 255. Oh, there's a crack. But the real question is, does it actually drop the block? Yo. Yes. No, it doesn't drop. What's the point? If you kill a goat with looting 255, they drop a secret goat horn. Sorry, goat, but this is for science. Yeah! All right, dude. I have been told that this makes probably the best sound that anybody has ever heard, and this is coming from an audio file. Those are people that really like sounds and purchase those expensive headphones called Apple AirPods Max or whatever you know what I'm talking about. Be ready to witness the greatest sound in three, two, one. <laughs> If you die in a hardcore world, your pets die with you. As you can see, cat has collar. Now I just need to die. Iron Golem, please do me the favor. Oh, 
<gasps> oh, where'd my cat go? <gasps> it's still there. It's got the collar around its neck. It's gonna be there. It's frozen forever. Ah, it's fine. It's a cat. <laughs> when dolphins are fed raw cod or salmon, they swim to the nearest treasure. All right, dolphin, come here. Come on, this right here. Take some of this. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You like it, don't you? All right, now take me to treasure. If this dolphin leads me to treasure, you got to give me a treasure by subscribing. It's only fair. This is a very valuable tip. <gasps> no. Just when I was about to give up, the dolphin said, hold my juice because I brought you to a chest. Yeah. <laughs> dolphin, I love you. One of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies of all time is Castle in the Sky. And because of that movie, sometimes iron golems will hold roses in front of the villagers. Come on, hold the rose, hold the rose. Oh, oh, you look like you want a rose out. Huh? Come on, they only hold the rose out for a second, so you gotta be on the look. Come on, iron golems, you got this. Show us, show us the rose. <gasps> oh my god, he's doing it, he's doing it. Where? Next to this house over here. Oh! Wait, he's doing it. We saw it for a split second, but he did it. He gave the flower. And if Mojang likes anime, so should you.